Like I said, it's the fourth largest lake in Maine. It's one of the larger undeveloped lakes left in the state. It is man-made. They dammed the Dead River about 25 miles east of here when they created the lake. In doing so, they flooded over 36 farms, two villages, and a town. So this used to be the south branch of the Dead River. If you've been to Rangeley, the water, the stream you follow coming over is the south branch. So just around the corner, it comes down. So this was a river valley, smaller than the bridge here. The Vaughn Farm was right in that corner. As we get around the corner, we'll see the north branch where that came in, and then that used to be the head of the Dead River. Now, 25 miles east of here, below the dam, the Dead River goes down. And where the Dead River comes into the Kennebec is called the Forks. So, with that, we get going. was the booming out shack. This was the area where once the river was flooded and they created the lake, this is where they would boom up the wood to get it across the lake. So the booming up shack was in there. This is one of the preserved free campsites. This pile of rocks ahead of us, the one beyond it, are cribs, man-made cribs like you see on the Andestoggin or the Kennebec. They were anchor points for the log boom. They'd boom up between 10 and 15,000 cord of wood. They had two shallow draft tugboats working this end of the lake and then a deep draft that would take over and haul it all down to the dam. 